If you're after sapphires, in this video guide, I'm giving you my ultimate how-to guide to maximize your farming for more sapphires in less time. Want to know what is the top chapter for sapphires? Or the best for a sapphire per minute? Or the best overall with the new updates? I got it, coming up. What's up guys, it's your boy Gazda bringing you a new video guide hot and ready like a Little Caesars pizza. This time, I'm sharing with you my research statistical method to maximize your gameplay in Arturo and how to get the most sapphires for your time. If you like, you can download the Excel spreadsheet for free in the description box down below to check out at your leisure. This is the same exact file with the same functions that has the anecdotal data I will be highlighting in this video. And hey, if your results vastly differ, post a picture on social media and at me. Love to see it. Here is how this video is going to be structured and here's your timestamps on the side. The results may shock you like they did me. First, we're going to jump into the Excel spreadsheet and explain my findings. How I set up this experiment, then we are going to look at the results and I will tell you, based on the data, which chapter should be farmed based on sapphire count for farming, and separately which chapter should be farmed based on speed. Stick around to the end of the video because there I will share how I farm over 200 gems in 30 minutes per day in 20 energy using the method and other little tips. Before we begin, if you are new to my Archero series, this is where we dive into tips tricks, strategies, guides, and more, just like this, one, two to three times per week. So if you like videos like this, I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss an upload. And while you're at it, smash like, share this video with our churro buds, and leave a comment because I read and respond to just about all of them. Now, let's get started. I was quite surprised by these results, and again, check them below where you can read it on a plane, in the rain or while riding the train. I only died four times while collecting this data, once on chapter 14 and three times on 15, but revived each time and completed the runs. So here's how I collected this data. No data on 16 because I have not beat it yet. Guide soon when I do. I ran each chapter three times and set a timer and my Excel spreadsheet has simple averaging functions built in. Simple stuff but not simple to collect as it was rather boring and time consuming. So that's why this video took me longer to produce and why I only did three runs per chapter instead of five. Three is a good average to get a good range. Note, this is only the normal chapters. If you wanna make me miserable and do the hero chapters, let me know in a comment down below. So let's look at the top Sapphire gaining chapter as of August, 2020. And of course, your mileage and time completion could vary largely since I have completed the game up until chapter 15 and have a lot of high end gear. Number one for top Sapphire collection still seems to be chapter 13, Lava Lands and eye popping 92 Sapphires after three runs. Now, last I remember reading, chapter 13 has been severely nerfed from what it once was. So it should be a lot more completable for a lot more people than before. Second is chapter 15, Pharaoh's Chamber, the once end of the game until chapter 16 Archaic Temple surprisingly released. I averaged 72 sapphires after 3 runs, but chapter 15 is quite difficult to beat so may not be very viable for a lot of people. Finally, in third for top sapphire farming is chapter 12, Dungeon of Traps with 69 sapphires after 3 runs. Chapter 12 is a pretty solid chapter and quite quick and not all that difficult compared to the chapters after it. Now let's say, hey Gazda, that's cool, but I'm very busy. I'm about to close an $8 million deal with Kmart on Tuesday whoop whipped cream. I need the best chapters for the shortest investment. Well fam, I got you also. By a landslide, you can't beat chapter seven, Barons of Shadow. I was able to clear this chapter in an astonishing two minutes and six seconds on average, and still net an average of 34 sapphires after three runs. That is faster than the second place winner by almost three whole minutes on average. Not to be outdone, Chapter 6 Cave of Bones is still very good and was the king of farming for quite some time, and is still a chapter that can be completed quite quickly. Finally, in pole position numero tres is Chapter 10 Land of Doom, another wave chapter but quite quick to complete. 
Now, now, my guy, you might be saying, Okay, Gazda, that is all well and good, but I want to know what is the best overall for my time in Sapphire game. I don't need it to be the fastest, but I need it to be relatively quick while still netting me a lot of sapphires because I'm about to land in Miami to meet my internet girlfriend who totally claims to look like Anne Hathaway and definitely isn't a catfish man in the basement and I want to impress her. <laughs> First, I think you need to reevaluate your life's choices, but secondly, I got that ranking too. This one was harder to make because I had to balance time investment to Sapphire Game, and I disqualified Chapter 15 because that chapter is very hard to beat consistently. So these picks may have great debate, and I welcome it in the comments down below. But judging on time to beat, difficulty, and Sapphire Game, I would say your best farming chapter, 13 first, then Chapter 12, then Chapter 10. These will give you a lot of sapphires and won't take that long on average to beat per run. Before I move on to how I farm over 200 sapphires per day for free, I want to remind you that I make content like this 2-3 times per week and keep it fun and fresh while now also playing other games. So if you like what you see baby, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss an upload. And also smash like and leave a comment and share with your friends. All things help my channel to grow and I greatly appreciate it. Cool! So again either refer back to this video as needed or download the excel file since i included it in the bottom as well as the other data i recorded to help you pick the best farming chapter that works for you based on your position in the game really helpful stuff that i hope helps you take your game further do this to net over 200 sapphires per day to level up your heroes that much faster run temple run then lava lands twice then collect the supply pack then collect your daily reward. Additionally, you can collect the battle pass and exclusive quest if applicable. This should net you 200 sapphires or more in about 30 minutes. But of course, your mileage may vary. And that is just on one energy tank and without spending any gems. You could take it further and let your energy refill and buy another attempt at temple run and run lava lands another two times if you want. But my method is the free and clear method for all the F 2p players out there free to play what do you think of my tier list and guide how will it help you leave me a comment down below love to read and spawn share this video with a friend or three if it was helpful look we are at the end screen if you like guides i made plenty of them the one on the left is my ultimate guide on chapter 15 if that one is giving you trouble below that is something youtube is recommending that is a secret to me as always i'm gazda and i will see you for the next one